boots. Trying to save my good shoes. Hello, welcome to Lay Swing Lane. I've already videoed some of this, but I keep forgetting where y'all at here. I keep forgetting my um, tripod. So you are currently tied to this tree uh, with copper wire. Um, I'm gonna keep looking over there instead of over here. Anyway, I've uh, been working a lot of graveyard shifts at the hospital and haven't gotten much sleep this week, uh, maybe. Two hours a day, four hours a day. Got lots of sleep last night, but I'm still tired. It's gonna take me a while to recover. Um, not very talky today, but the guys are inside finishing up the floors, and and tomorrow is supposed to get a lot of rain. So I don't want the beds to fill up with water and it get compacted again. So I'm at least gonna to try to get the cotton bird down. Um, I've got two bags, and I'm just gonna mix it in, and then probably pull it back put down my um, coffee grounds and uh, I don't know what else I got going on, but I'll do a little talk with you at the end and um, let you know what happened, show you the after video. So here we go.
Okay, that's been 20 minutes or so. I need a break. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to aerate what's left, kind of break it up a little bit. I can't wet it because it makes it too heavy for me to move. Tony um, turned all the soil. I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes and then next up. Okay, it's gonna aerate now. I'm gonna loosen up that bottom soil.
Okay, that one spot is a caliche patch, which is just rock, gravel, and stuff. I'm gonna have to soak that part. Four cows are gone. I can't take you guys with me to look, but um, I'll never get you back up there the way you are. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take a break. I'll look at the floors, let that on there and let it soak in then come back and go at it again um yeah, i'm worried like i can't feel this all the way up um because of the tree depth there are baby trees we planted them in the fall i might could gently raise them up and i'm afraid i might have gotten too much um nitrogen down there uh i put goat poop and coffee grounds and um pine mulch and I layered it in with topsoil and I did the same thing with the apple I mean with the plums and they are very happy the trees are doing good and I don't know what time it is now maybe 11 15 I'll find out in a minute but this tree is covered up in shade that one's open both the plums are open to the sun um, but I imagine that one, this will have sunshine again because the sun will be directly overhead. But I'm um, just trying to pay attention to where the sun's hitting. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put some water on here and then take a break. I said I don't want to get everything too wet because then I won't be able to move it but that's it for now okay I went ahead and took you off the tree because I want to show Tony the floors I need to text him so um this is what we got going on right now that is a cleachy patch I'm letting soak I tried to cut in to the borders um I think I might put some two before's or something just to hold the space firm um, like I said this is too low I'm gonna mix it with the cotton bird this over here is gonna be mostly border again and then I'm afraid I might have gotten too much topsoil out um, but we got that big pile over there 
So, um, if I need more, you know, it's right there. So let's go take a quick look at the house. This is leveled out pretty good. Now I said that the um, seams were not dry. Oh, look at you. So they had to uh, put some heavy stuff on them, which turned out to be Tony's tools. So those seams right there are going to take a while to uh, dry. Oh, the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. This is amazing. So much better. Tony's going to be thrilled. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we have floors. We have floors. Okay, I'm gonna chat with Tony and then I'll get back to work. I gotta get both those beds somewhat prepared before the rain tomorrow. Okay, got you guys back in. I'm gonna be wobbly for a second. I'm putting pine cones around to uh, hold you where I need you to be. Hold on. I'm going to probably shift it somewhat. I don't. But it's fairly good. Okay, here we go. Well, oh, there it is. I am forever losing my phone, shoes and gloves. Okay, it's soaked in more. It's only been about 15 minutes. I didn't have much of a break. Okay, here we go. I just want to get the top two layers. <laughs> two layers. Maybe three inches or so down. I want plants. I don't know what I want to have here, but they need 12, 15 inches. Well, some of them only need eight inches, but. I'm gonna mix this around because I don't want the clinky stuff just to get hard again. I should mix all, everything in together, which which I will. But I like the straight lines on this bed. That one's more curvy, and I'll probably do pavers, but this one's probably gonna have boards um, or pavers for the edges. But I don't wanna lose those lines, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some boards down just to hold it in place until I get a more permanent uh, thing, which may be a while, so I'm gonna go grab some boards.
Hey, yes, these boards are painted. It's almost gone, and this is temporary. There are some staples in here. I'm gonna pull out. And um, probably just two nails. Staples. Let's go get the hammer and um, get the nails out. I think I'm Oh, maybe, maybe I am strong enough. Or they're not in there. Get it. Huh nail. I'm getting those out. One. And two. Okay. 
That's one more corroded staple. There. Okay. This one's good. Putting these in my trash pile.
I'm probably, it's been right at 30 minutes here. I'm probably losing battery on my phone, but just to explain what I'm doing. I think I'd like to have four inch border all the way around. So um, let me take you guys off. Let me see if I can do it without turning the video off. Hold one moment, please. Hang on. I'll just turn you back on. My goal is, I think, to have a four inch border just a little one all the way around. So I like the four by four width, it's sturdy. I don't have four by fours and I don't have, this is all the lumber I have, the size one more of those and maybe a couple more of those. Um, but I'm gonna plan for having a four inch border. So this is what I'm talking about. Instead of just making it, and I'm, I could cut these, but I don't wanna. So I'm just planning for having the four inch border all the way around whenever I get some more um, four by fours. Uh, but right now that'll work. Um, I'll probably put a brick or something right here. And I'm just gonna go around and do the rest of this bed and get it set up. And uh, then I'll start on that one. Okay, it is one o'clock. This guy's still wide open. I think he gets the most sun in the evening. He's uncovered except for his roots. Those guys are still open. My pumpkin patch, melon patch over here, is still covered. This is still open. So, um, that's where the sunshine is right now. I'm pretty happy with this. Again, this right here will eventually be uh, four inches wide. I put the bricks here because I didn't have enough boards and I really like them. Like I could see doing just those smoky gray pavers. Now I know this is crooked, but it's because that four by four is crooked. But this will do the job for now. Um, I just don't want the rain to wash all this other dirt back in there and compact it. So it is one o'clock and I didn't get breakfast. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab some lunch and uh, come back and please put the cotton burr down. Um, I wanna do the cotton burr. No, yes. The cotton burr and the goat manure first. And then I'm gonna mix all that in with this dirt. And then I will put on pine needle mulch. Some of my pine trees, um, I think have too much mulch near their base. So I'm gonna back that up a little bit. And some of them I have like way, way too much. Uh, so I have lots of pine needles I can put down and I still have the straw down that I can put into and the wood chips. So um, that's what we're gonna do when we get back. Okay, I am back. Um, it was about 1.30, took a nice break, uh, moved you down a little bit, still looking in the wrong place. And I moved you down a little bit and uh, a different angle. Um, yeah, so I realized on some of the other videos that I turned you right side up instead of uh, wide, long. So sorry for the back and forth, but you know, this too is a practice uh, learning kind of thing on making videos and such. Um, so yeah, uh, the sun is uh, completely off of this apple, which it was covered, the roots were covered a while ago and it's, it's way over now. So everything is in the sunshine as far as the fruit trees go. Um, the pumpkin patch is still covered. Um, had really good sun this morning so and it looks like the area between the two trees by the Studebaker is open now um, so it's starting to get some afternoon sun what else of course the garden raised bed garden is still completely open um, the house this side 
there's maybe two feet of house shadow and then some uh the pine tree is covering some of that now so yeah i'm just learning the where the um sunshine is i'm gonna get busy it's getting kind of windy and imagine that it's just gonna get windier because the cold front will be moving in for that rain so to it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the boards down first. I know that's gonna be too much dirt in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of it back out. Yeah. Okay. Think it through and then end up doing the same thing. benefit each other and help each other.
bracelets. Okay, I've got the boards around the sides on both beds. I've raked it out, caught as much of the weeds, not weeds, grass and thick sticks and out as I could. I'm putting this back to earth cotton, composted cotton burrs. Now this is compost and I would love to just throw it on the top, but I need to work it in to this other dirt that's going to um, just pat back down if it doesn't get some aeration in there. So I'm gonna put those down and um, then I will put down the next thing next. Okay, if you don't know what cotton burr compost is, it is mulch made out of the remaining remains of cotton. Um, it's super rich, it feels really good. It does have some bigger pieces in it, so I wouldn't start seeds in this. Um, but it um, loosens up clay soil and adds moisture to sandy soil. So uh, I do have sandy soil. I can just water the ground for hours and it'll just go straight down. Um, but it also gets super compacted, like if you're making a sand castle. So I uh, already poured one bag on the other side and I don't think it's going to be enough. There's Tony. So there is the pile there, but whenever I spread it around, I think I need one more bag. So I'm gonna go grab that. Alrighty, so I put down the cotton burr mulch. Tony, Tony turned it all in for me. And then um, I raked it out and put coffee grounds on and wood chips. Um, we got the coffee grounds from Starbucks and the wood chips uh, from some trees that I mulched with our little wood chipper and uh, spread that all out and this one I've soaked in and this one I'm fixing to soak in. Uh, I did put a little bit more cotton burr compost over here on the hard areas, the ones that didn't have all the good uh, wood ash so around here this is all fresh cotton burr and I still haven't raked that in but um, it's okay for now still have two weeks before we plant so uh, it is 5 30 but this one is completely shaded this plum tree from the dappled sunlight here this one is almost completely shaded um, and both of the apple trees are in the sun, but the roof line is moving over. So here in about another 30 minutes or so, they'll be completely covered in shade. Alrighty, it is 547 and I am done. Um, Tony came and helped me, but the process of what I did just to go over it again real quick is we turned the soil got out all of the uh, grass that we could and the weeds and then uh, made the form around the beds and then I put down the cotton burr Tony turned that in I raked that out and then I added the goat manure on top of that and coffee grounds on top of that and then a more cotton burr compost and the wood chips and watered it all in so the sun is just starting to come over the roots of these things like I said in about another hour they'll be completely covered so this is going to be our amber apple fruit tree guilds and they will 
um, have plants that support each other. Uh, we still have a walkway to come from the front porch around um, to where we park over there. And I don't know, at some point we're gonna have a, the porch or living room over there. We still have a walkway on this side of it, but I wanted to put some kind of arch or trellis over this so I could do pretty plants going up it and maybe some uh, cool weather plants that needed shade in the middle. But um, we'll see. Tony said, no, but um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, that is it for the day. And let me flip you around. I'll say bye in person. Okay, that is it. So thanks for joining me today. Um, the guys who did our floors on a one last note, the guys who did the floors added the wrong color um, around the trim that they did today. So they have to come back and uh, replace them tonight. So we're gonna go grab something to eat and then be back out here probably till 10 o'clock or so, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to rain and then we're supposed to have a cool three or four days. And after that, we get to plant. All right, we'll see you next time on Lace Game Lane.